Nowadays, most people don't believe in witches, unless they are very superstitious. But many years ago, witching was a very popular profession, and there were witches of all shapes and sizes. There were witches who roamed the woods, witches who lived in castles, witches who lived in swamps and bogs, witches who lived near the sea or in the mountains, witches that might have even lived in a neighborhood like yours or mine. And like all witches do, they wreaked havoc on all the land and caused mischief for everyone who lived near them. After all, isn't that the job of a witch? to bring mischief and mayhem to all the quiet corners of the world? Perhaps. But this story isn't about all those kinds of witches. This story is about a witch who wasn't very good at being a witch. And the spells and charms that she cast were of a different kind of witching altogether. This is the story of a witch named Bungle. Which Bungle didn't live in town? No, no, people stared at her pointed hat, and the stores never had what she needed to be a proper witch. She tried, for a time, to live with the gypsies, but they were always moving from place to place. And one day, when the gypsies were camped in an old abandoned cottage in the woods, Bungle decided to stay. The gypsies didn't stay long, for the neighborhood was full of witches, and the shadows of the woods made them shiver. Ah, yes, Witch Bungle was thrilled with her new home deep in the forest and surrounded by other witches. Now at last, she could get on with being a witch herself. She tidied up the dusty old cottage and settled down to work on some spells. Well, at least, try to work on some spells. Bungle fixed herself some tea and set out all the ingredients she was supposed to to make some magical creatures with a few additions of her own. One cup of water, two teaspoons of vanilla, three cups of Jolly Ranchers, four tablespoons of slime, and Shazam! Oh goodness, but the creatures that Bungle created weren't evil at all, but mixed up friendly creatures, like a unicorn with an elephant tusk, or a penguin with a square blockhead. Oh my goodness, I stink at being a bad witch, said Bungle. How could she ever learn to make bad spells and evil creatures like the League of Evil Witches? They were good at being bad witches. <laughs> the League of Bad Witches could make any bad spell or evil creature that you could dream of especially the leader of the League of Evil Witches, Witch Snag. Ooh, she was the best bad witch of all. She had been an evil witch for I don't know how many years, and no one could make an evil dragon as well as Witch Snag could. <laughs> Let's go see what kind of spell Witch Bungle has made for us today. <laughs> but when Witch Snag got to Witch Bungle's house and saw the friendly creatures she had made, she was very disappointed. Ah, Bungle, are you at it again? The spells you make are a disgrace. 
why are you going to make more gross things and bad spells? Which snag said which bungle would never join the League of Evil Witches so long as she made friendly creatures? But which bungle had liked the creature she had made? Oh, which bungle didn't know what to do? Which snag said she would be happy to get rid of which bungle's friendly creatures if which bungle couldn't do it herself? Oh, which bungle walked all through the night? She didn't know what to do. Should she get rid of her friendly creatures? Should she join the League of Evil Witches? The next day, the League of Evil Witches headed to Witch Bungle's house. Witch Bungle was scared. She told all of her friendly creatures to hide, like the block-headed penguin, the unicorn with the elephant tusk, and that sweet dragon that licked Witch Snag on the chin. Oh no, the League of Evil Witches is coming back. Get back in the pot, little dragon. She didn't want to see her friends get hurt. Finally, Witch Snag and the Evil Witches were at her door. Oh, come in. Can I interest all of you in some tea? But Witch Snag wasn't interested in tea. She was interested in seeing what new evil creatures Witch Bungle had made. Bungle! I don't believe it! You've done it again! I'm going to dispose of your friendly animal creations! Just then, something very unexpected happened. Something Witch Bungle didn't even expect. Back off, Miss Thing. You are not going to touch my creations. And with that, Witch Bungle smacked Witch Snag in the face and began to chase after all the League of Evil Witches. She cast incredible spells at them, and her animal friends came out to help her chase the evil witches off. Get away from me, you disgusting creatures! Get out of here! Oh, no, that Bungle! I'm going to get her! Stay away from me! Oh, no! Bungle stayed at her cottage in the woods for a very long time and continued to make very magical creatures and special spells, all of which were very friendly and kind. Everyone in the neighborhood liked her, and even some of the gypsies came back to pay her a visit. And she never quite knew what was going to come out of her cauldron.